On this episode, I'll be unboxing Lost, the first season by Varez Sarabond. Let's cue the music. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the show. I'm back. This is my first show of 2024, and thanks for being patient. Uh, it has been a couple months. Uh, I've been off producing a documentary about the show Lost, um, so I feel like I should probably do this unboxing because I feel like it's very, very relevant to what's going on in my life. Uh, I'm not going to bore with, bore you with the details, but if you like the show Lost and you're interested in the documentary I'm producing with Taylor Morden, uh, who did the last blockbuster, who was also a previous guest on Cue the Music, uh, head over to gettinglostdoc.com and uh, see what we've been up to. Um, today, I'm unboxing this. It is from Varez. It is a uh, the Vinyl Club. It's the second in their Vinyl Club, I believe, or it's just their Vinyl Club exclusive Oceanic Black Smoke variant, which they made 500 of. And um, right off the bat, I'm a little concerned because this is the first time I've done an unboxing with this type of packaging before. Um, there's no tape. At least I don't think there's any tape. It's just, that's it. It's now open. Um, so I'm really curious to see how this goes. Um, uh, Tiny Knife gets has been on a break, but um, we'll have to get into the through the cellophane so tiny knife will get his thing um i'm gonna open this i don't know i kind of i don't want to just open it up and be like here it is here let me just talk about lost for a little bit i'm a huge fan of the show back in 2006 i started a podcast with my friend ben ryan and jimmy called the darmalars and uh we talked about every episode of lost as they came out starting with season the end of season two and going to like season five or something uh, all those are still available if you still want to if you're watching the show again and you want to listen to what we thought of it um just a bit of a warning uh, we do have potty mouth i know that was a sticking point with a lot of fans back then who uh, really wanted some wholesome entertainment from their podcast um, we were the guys with the explicit tag I still think it's a good show. Um, I haven't listened to it in a while, so I'm sure there's a few things that we said that might not fly today. Um, so if you check it out, uh, please forgive me. And I apologize in advance for anything that's sort of um, uh, insensitive. <laughs> so when it comes to Lost, uh, this is my first exposure of Michael Giacchino's work outside of the Medal of Honor series. Um, I, me and my friends were like obsessed with Medal of Honor uh, when it came out in what, 99? We'd play nonstop. And uh, I was a huge fan of the soundtrack. Um, I looked in the liner notes of the game uh, just to see who did the music. And uh, I couldn't pronounce Michael's name. Uh, it's Michael Giacchino, now that I know that. But it sounded like a super exotic name. And I was like, who is this guy? He does this amazing music. It's very cinematic. It sounds like a, it could be like a John Williams score for a, you know, a Spielberg movie. But it's just for this video game, and I think it like lended a lot to the video. I mean, like the the video game uh, was heightened because of the music, and so I knew Michael's work through that. Um, I didn't watch Alias, and so Lost was the first time I was able to like revisit him. Um, and it, it's amazing. The score to Lost is amazing. This is season one, and I'm hoping that this does well enough where Varez uh, will do um, the following seasons. Uh, just kind of a note on this release. <laughs> it's a little bit loose in the packaging, and uh, again, it's, it wasn't, it wasn't um, taped down, which is good. It's less, less plastic waste. But I'm concerned with how things are. I'm, I'm fully expecting a seam split in here. But I don't know. We'll check it out. And again, this is going to be an episode where the box art is super shiny and reflective. So I'm going to try to do my best to show that off. Uh, if you want to check it out, I'll do a full review after I'm done opening it. I'll listen to it. And I will um, uh, post that review on Instagram, Twitter, Blue Sky, and uh, right here on YouTube. 
if you go to the YouTube channel uh, on this video and go down to the comments or down to the episode description, I'll also have the review there. But I am letting you know this is a real shiny thing. Uh, I'm going to take it out. Let's see if there's anything else in this box other than the record. It is absolutely empty. Great. Less waste. Vesper's going to go sniff that. And here is <laughs> Lost. It's extra shiny. Uh, there's me. Uh, there's a little inception going on there. Uh, but yeah, this is the uh, the Oceanic Black Smoke Marble Vinyl. And if you want to see what I got on my shelf, there's that Flash Gordon. There's my iPhone. And there's some other stuff. So you're going to probably see my unmade bed if you look real closely. Oh, look, I got some lightsabers over there <laughs> and some books. Um, what else do I got? Actually, if you could see my lost shelf, uh, there's, there's Godzilla. Let's see if I can get my lost shelf in there. And there it is. There's my lost DVDs over here, my Blu-rays, and a box of Darmlars right there and some trading cards that we've been using for the documentary. Um, this is a the kind of a classic cover um, that Varez has been using since they released the soundtrack on CD back in, you know, I don't know, that would have been like 2004, 2005 is when they finally released that CD. Um, I have that CD and I have all subsequent CDs um, of the Lost soundtracks. Let me get this open here. All right. Everyone say hi to Stevie. She just walked by. Usually I keep the door closed so that I don't feel um, awkward doing this because I feel awkward doing this. I'm essentially talking to the, to the wall. Um, let's open this up. So this is that classic season one of Lost like turquoise blue and again it is so shiny um, when I do the reviews usually I do product pictures of my uh, copy of Lost or my copy of the soundtracks and um, these shiny ones are pretty tough and by the way I, I mentioned before there are no there are no seam splits here this looks like a seam split but it's not it's just the it's just the image of the of the plane wreck so there the, the seam actually is really, really good. I don't know if I can get the focus on that, but trust me, that's not a seam split. Um, so there's the cover <laughs> with my reflection. Uh, I really need to figure out a way, like I need to find some place where I can shoot this stuff where you don't get any of this reflection um, or set up some sort of blackout curtain or something. I don't know what to do about that. Um, it's a great cover. I'll tell you that. Let me try to angle it towards the ceiling. There you go. So you can got to get a better sense of the cover. Um, it's that classic season one poster, Lost, music composed by Michael Giacchino, and the Verez logo up top. Um, Verez, uh, I, I'm so excited for this vinyl club because I used to um, subscribe to their CD club, and I remember getting heart beeps through that. So Verez, again, if you're watching, let's get heart beeps on vinyl. Come on. Uh, there's the back, another classic picture. It's a really nice high-res detailed picture of um, the folks from the pilot of Lost. Um, I will tell you, for the documentary, we interviewed him, 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 uh, her, him, him. So not bad so far. Um, so check that out again. I, I don't want to make this a commercial. Um, these have the classic Michael Giacchino titles that we all know. Um, main title, which was composed by J.J. Abrams. Um, and then you have like The Island, World's Worst Beach Party, uh, Credit Where Credit is Due. Uh, well, some of my favorite tracks on here are Hollywood and Vine, and then the one with the raft. Uh, partying Words. Is it Partying Words? I always thought it was Parting Words. On this it says um, Partying Words. Right, right down. I'm trying to get to it right down here. Partying words. I don't remember it being that. I could be wrong, but I thought it was parting words. At one time, I thought it was parting worlds, which doesn't make any sense. Uh, let's check out the gatefold. Again, it's going to be so shiny. Um, here it is. Jack from the pilot looking up from the oceanic plane crash. That looks great. Again, shiny, shiny, shiny. And what we have inside is... Um, we have 
the credits. We have the orchestra, uh, the orchestrator, recording engineer, um, things like that on one side. We also have all the musicians who were uh, a part of the um, Lost Season 1 orchestra. And then we have a note from the producers, uh, which is a nice four-paragraph thing about Michael and the music from um, J.J. Abrams, Damon Lindelof, Brian Burke, Jack Bender, and Carlton Cuse. Now, um, what's funny is that uh, uh, that another company put out, uh, it was Mondo, put out um, the live, the We Have to Go Back Lost live record, which is full of sweets based on the cues of Lost. And uh, you can hear Carlton do readings on that one if you're so inclined. Um, I'm actually pretty excited about this, even though like Michael Sweets, there's there's no other composer out there that does Sweets um, that I like more than Michael. I actually prefer Michael Sweets. Um, I think they're I think they're wonderful. And Michael's has a um, concert coming up in April. If you haven't gotten tickets, if you're in the Hawaii area at the end of April, uh, go check out that concert. So this is the Oceanic Smoke colorway, and it has got that classic Verez Sarah Bond um, maroon label, which uh, is part of the key the music opening. When you see those maroon stripes go by, it's based on that Verez um, label. So as you can see, it's kind of a see-through vinyl with swirls of blue and black. So it's pretty cool. It's like water. It's like the smoke monster. Um, I like it a lot. I want to say that both records um, are the same colorway. So let's take a look at that one as well. Um, man, I feel really rusty. It's been a long time since I've done this. Um, so I hope you bear with me. Um, I'm going to have some more coming up soon. Um, uh, congratulations to the launch of the record label Mutant. Uh, I got their first two records coming as a pre-order, Michael's uh, Society of Snow. I got the Spanish language one, and for my upcoming birthday, my sister pre-ordered me the Wonka soundtrack. So I'll definitely be unboxing those on this channel. Those are probably be the next two coming up. Um, <clears throat> I also did a pre-order for James Newton Howard's uh, Hunger Games, A Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes, which has been on like back order. And I, I'm hoping it comes and I had to get it through Amazon and they don't do the best packing when it comes to shipping out records. So fingers crossed for that. Uh, whenever that decides to come, I'll do an unboxing of that. So here is the second record. And yes, it is the same colorway. And um, it looks nice. It'll look, look nice on my record player. I'll post pictures of that again. Yeah, it says partying words. Partying words. I'm not the strongest reader, so I may be wrong on this, but I thought it was parting words because they were leaving. It's, it's when the raft takes off. Um, which, that cue... Every time I see it live in concert, it makes me tear up. Uh, it's one of the cues that they play um, to picture on uh, at the concert. And so you get the full impact of, you know, the way Lost was meant to be heard, like, while watching the footage. And that whole sequence is mostly music. And um, it's, it's brought up a couple times I've heard uh, stories. And it might be in here where... There wasn't a dry eye in the booth when they were recording that cue, uh, partying words. Um, Michael, uh, th th this score is amazing. Um, Lost is amazing, and it was kind of a launching off point. While he was doing Lost, he got uh, the job on The Incredibles, and that pretty much launched uh, the rest of his composing career. Um, and there's a good reason why. Uh, he did every episode of Lost. He scored every episode of Lost, um, which is like, it, it's insane, the schedule of this show. Um, but he is a huge component of the success of the series, and uh, I'm so happy that I have season one on vinyl. And what's kind of crazy is, is that this doesn't say season one 
anywhere. This just says original television soundtrack. Music composed by Michael Cicchino. So it doesn't say it on the spine. And it doesn't say it on the back. So hopefully you get more. All right. Hi. Did I make too much noise? No. No. I'm just finishing up though. Love you. Love you Happy Valentine's Day. It's probably, oh. It's probably Valentine's Day somewhere. Are you talking to someone? Yeah, I'm talking to the the people who listen to the show. Oh. <laughs> it's not live. <laughs> yeah. I gotta edit this. I thought so. But I think I'm releasing this on Valentine's Day. Oh, okay. It's probably Valentine's Day somewhere. Yeah. Well, it is, right? Because it's 24 hours to get around. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Time's just the thing. <laughs> All right. Love you. <laughs> All right. Uh, <laughs> I'll catch you guys next time, and I'll uh, most likely be doing uh, Mutants New Society of Snow. Bye.